My teenage angst-ridden form of financial income was found in a movie theater down the street. And while we were cleaning outside foods and drinks off the sticky theater floor, my coworker began making small talk so small you would need a large-scale telescope in order to see our conversation. But then she asked me, where are you from? I'm from California. No, no, where are you really from? It's as if seeing my complexion compels the complexity of the question of where my genetic composition was composed. And I suppose that you could say that I was composed. My arrangement written by the maestros that are my parents, and in the tiniest spot, my brother in the role of accompaniment. The piece begins with a slow overture in the war in Vietnam. The people caught in a harsh discordant dissonance, North versus South, communism versus westernization, neither being the better reformation. And the crescendo of drums sounding like cross-firing guns, forcing a man and a woman to run like staccato notes across the page to safety. You see, my dad, he was a refugee in Hong Kong, and my mom, she was a refugee in Malaysia. The range of my family is so spread out across the global sphere, I cannot believe they are not butter or bitter about the slow colonization of the civilization that was once their own, but like the smooth line of jazz improvisation, they improvised their situation and found themselves fresh off a boat. See, my parents bought into the American dream. Seems with a discount they should be able to redeem because they don't speak English. And what is America besides the mass commercialization of a dream? But a dream is constructed around the social construct of a course of privileged old men. A dream whose melody is so sweet, but whose arrangement will only stay in the heads of those unable to read and to write in the language of music. And when my brother and I arrived, we compromised because we became the adults. And our round-the-clock jobs were bilingual composers making changes in keys back and forth in a piece titled Misunderstanding. And our wages were the minimum wage that my parents brought home so that we could go to college and have the dream that they dreamed for themselves. And every form from emergency contact to field trip contract was filled out by nine-year-old me, but I would never trade that past for anything. Because the sacrifices my parents made form a movement that never fails to move me. And so now I'm a bastard child stuck between two worlds, both despising the living hell out of each other. Asian American sometimes feels like an oxymoron. I go to temple, and yet I know more biblical verses than I do Buddhist, and when I wear a Buddha around my neck, it is less religion and more fashion statement. And when I, but when I pick myself up by them bootstraps and chase after that American dream, it seems to strike a chord within my parents who intervene, asking, why couldn't you be a doctor? <laughs> Not American enough to be American, not Chinese enough to be Chinese. A childhood disappointment, two opposing worlds, both figuratively and literally. But my arrangement is not entirely out of tune. There exists harmonies written so beautifully that makes the dissonance so truthfully worth it. I celebrate the New Year's and get an encore because of the opposing hemispheres. And during Thanksgiving, a duet between turkey and egg rolls that never failed to make my eyes roll to the back of my head. <laughs> And beach, summer beach trips that require rest for potato salad and bun may that never come to a rest. <laughs> and I won't forget to mention the beautiful medley of a family that I've been honored with, with whom I'll never take for granted. Granted, they face the same challenges as me. But we have four doctors, an engineer, uh, a teacher, a historian, an artist whose careers I'll never fail to be proud of. Crap. I forgot that I was in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> and I look up for confirmation to see that my coworker is still standing in front of me. Sorry, what was the question again? She asked me again where I was from, and I replied, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't specific enough for you. I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs>